What's up everyone, Take Zone here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 Slim is not updating. Let's get right into this. First, you're going to check the internet connection. You're going to want to ensure that your PlayStation 5 is connected to a stable internet connection. You can check this by going into the settings menu and selecting the network option. In here, you can check to see if everything is working properly. You can run a test and you can even check and update your internet settings to make sure that it's working properly. Next, you're gonna to want to update your system software. To do this, you're gonna to want to go into the settings menu once again. This time you're gonna select system and you're gonna choose system software. If there is an updates available, you can go and follow the on-screen steps to complete this process. Next, you're going to want to power cycle your PlayStation 5. To do this, you're going to disconnect the power cord from the back of your PlayStation 5 Slim. You're then going to press and hold the power button on the console while everything is unplugged for about 10 seconds. Essentially, what this is doing is it is draining all of the remaining power that's inside the console out of the console. After pressing and holding the power button for about 10 seconds, you're going to wait an additional 30 seconds without pressing and holding the power button before connecting everything back up and testing and seeing if the console will update once again. Next, you're going to try to restart your PlayStation 5. A simple restart can resolve minor software issues. The best way to restart your PlayStation 5 Slim is by entering safe mode. To do this, you're going to turn off your PlayStation 5 Slim. You're then going to press and hold the power Power button until you hear two beeps. After that, you are going to see it launching into safe mode. You are going to want to connect your controller to your console using the USB cable, and then you're going to want to select the first option to restart the PlayStation 5 Slim. You're going to let it do its thing, it's going to finish the restart process, and then you're going to check to see if your console will update once again. Now, if power cycling and restarting your console did not work for you, the next step is also within safe mode. So you're gonna enter safe mode once again, and this time you're gonna select rebuild database. You're gonna select the rebuild database option in safe mode, and you're gonna follow the on-screen steps once again. Now, depending on how much you have saved on your PlayStation 5 Slim, it might take a little bit longer for you, so just be patient and follow and complete the on-screen steps for this process. Now, if you completed this step and it's still not updating, the next thing to try is to manually update your PlayStation 5 Slim. To do this first, you're gonna to want to go onto a computer and you're gonna to want to download the latest updates onto a USB stick. To do this, you're gonna to want to go onto a computer and you're gonna to want to go on PlayStation's websites and download the latest software updates. You're gonna connect your flash drive to the PlayStation 5 Slim, then you're gonna enter safe mode once again. This time you're gonna select the update option and you're gonna go through the steps and you're gonna select manually updates and it's gonna ask you to insert the flash drive into the console, which you have already done, and you're gonna complete the whole updating setup this way. You're gonna go through the whole process and at the end, hopefully it did update for you. Now unfortunately, if you tried all of the previous steps and your console is still not updating, then unfortunately you may have to contact Sony. If your PlayStation 5 Slim is still under warranty, I recommend going through the warranty process. If not, then contact Sony and see how much it is gonna cost to get everything repaired. But hopefully you don't have to go this route. Hopefully one of the other steps did work for you. And in most cases, power cycling, rebuilding database, or even manually updating the console through the downloading the in most cases, doing a power cycle, rebuilding the database, or doing a manual update usually solves the issue. Hopefully it has, and you don't have to go through the warranty process. Hopefully this has worked for you. If it has, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.